Back up off y'all. Yeah, yeah. 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 We got Job 4015. Amen. And just keep your hands there. Amen. 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 I'm teaching today on the spirit of behemoth. Behemoth. The spirit of behemoth. B-E-H-E. M-O-T-H. Behemoth. The spirit of behemoth is talked about in Job chapter 40, verse 15. Listen to the spirit really, really good. The spirit walks hand in hand with the king of pride, Leviathan. It walks hand in hand with the king of pride, Leviathan. The spirit is called behemoth. The spirit of pride is called Leviathan. But they're like partners in crime. Most of the time, if a man or a woman has the spirit of Leviathan, please believe behemoth, behemoth is right behind it or close. Amen? Amen. Hand in hand it walks. Behemoth is a spirit that generally operates in men. It operates in men. Amen? Amen. The spirit operates in men. But it's not always the case. He's very strong. Listen to me, young men. Listen well. The spirit of behemoth is very strong. It's well built. And his strength is in his growing area. Amen? Amen. It's in the loins. It's in the growing areas of a man. Amen. Pay attention. This is the spirit that's overtaking the church. This is the spirit that's overtaking our pastors, our bishops, our leaders. Behemoth. The men are being, they're falling by the wayside because of the spirit of behemoth. Says he's very strong, well built, and his strength is in his growings. His bones are like iron bones, and his backbone is as strong as a cedar. Amen? Amen. Behemoth is very greedy and gluttony. You want it all. How many men feel like they want it all? You get greedy. You want all the women. You want all the money. You want all the fame. You want all the glory. They're greedy. Behemoth is greedy. He's greedy. He never gets enough. You never get enough. You ain't drinking enough. You ain't smoking enough. Smoke every day. You ain't getting enough. Ain't nothing never enough. And one woman won't do. All right, all right. Two, three won't do. You got to have a harem. Amen. Be even. He sucks up an ocean with his mouth, thinking that he is big enough to hold it. Biting off more than you can chew. You done put yourself in circumstances, situations, and now you don't know what to do with it. But you thought you was big enough to handle that. Be he was so greedy. He never get full. People in the body of Christ, people in the world, you never get enough. You gotta have more. I got to go get it. I got to get behind. You got to get your, I got to get, get your, you're trying, you're running around here like, I got my mind on my money, money on my mind. You all, that's all you're thinking about, all day, is getting yours. You're thinking about how many women can you pull, how many men can you get. I need more. And God has said, I need more of you. And you're saying, God, wait a minute, I got to get more of this. Wait a minute, God, wait a minute. I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm greedy. I want this woman. I want that woman. I got to have her. Oh, we. I got to have him. Oh, we. I got to have more money. If the behemoth is very, very 
Nebuchadnezzar. He says he bites off more than his stomach can handle. Behemoth walks hand in hand with pride. You've taken off more than you can chew. You're eating off more than you can chew. You're thinking that you got it all together, but you don't. You think you got it all. Behemoth makes you think you're together, but you're not. Behemoth will make you believe you can have it all. All of it. And you'll stop at nothing to get everything you want instead of what God wants for you. Greedy. Gluttony. I keep saying that. Bite off more than you can chew. Eat too much. God said, I'll give you a piece of cake. You want the whole cake. You want a piece of it. God trying to give you just a little bit right now. I want it all. And behemoth will cause you to fall so strong in sin to it's unbelievable. Behemoth, he anticipates more than he can take. Behemoth is the one that the man is so full of pride, so full of male ego. Women too, that you anticipate more than you can handle. More than you can take, you can't take it all, but you think you can. You think you can handle it, you can't. Only God can do it. But this spirit is really, honestly, and I'm sorry to say it, but it's for the leaders of the church more than it is for the outsiders, the people. This, this is for the pastors that's taking off more than they can chew. And they got greed. All they care about is how many members can they get, so how much money can they get. How many tithes coming in? How many offerings? Can I get a hundred right here? Can I get two hundred? I, I, I hear two, two, two. Is two going two, two? And this is what's going on. Behemoth has came in the church and is destroying our leaders. They're getting greedy. They're getting gluttony. They're biting off more than they can chew. They're trying to drink up the whole ocean. God said, I give you this territory. You trying to go in and take other people's territory. You want what other people got. God is trying to give you what you, what he got for you. Amen. But you want hugs, his, his, hugs. Amen. Amen. Behemoth is, he is a demon that has behind male supremacists, uh, male chauvinists, mm. people who walk around thinking women are not nothing. they supposed to sit down and be silent. This is this demon. This is a demon that has behind male supremacists, male uh, that bash women, that, 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 that hates women preachers. This is this, the this spirit. Women's supposed to be silent. Women don't need to sit down. They so puffed up full of they self. Take no God in them. Ain't no God in them because they puffed up in they self. <laughs> it says, um, uh, it, listen, Behemoth is deceptive. This spirit makes it impossible for a man to be satisfied with one woman. Hello? Oh my God. This spirit makes it impossible for a man to be satisfied with one woman. I believe that Behemoth was the spirit that was on King Solomon. King Solomon, God told him, whatever you want, name it. Because he was faithful to God. He loved God. He said, whatever you want, I'll give it to you. King Solomon said, all I want is more wisdom, more knowledge, and more understanding of your word. All I want. But because he only asked for that and wasn't selfish, God gave him more than enough, over in abundance. And still, he wanted more. He wanted access. He, he went into territories he wasn't supposed to do. He touched things that God said not touch. He touched things that God said, I gave you all this to satisfy you. And he still wasn't satisfied because behemoth had got a hold to him. The spirit of greed. He wanted more women, more women. And the women took him out. The women caused him to fall, a great fall. He did not reach his destiny. He did not do, he fell short of God's glory because of his spirit. He fell short because he wanted too much access. It was overtaking him. Amen? Amen. 
It says, uh, we're almost done. He thought he had many wives. But actually, this, I want y'all to hear this. Think y'all got all the women I've got. I've got, mm, I got, mm, <laughs> but they really got you. They got you. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, I got, mm, I dog, I got this, mm, I got that, mm, I got, mm, man, they be all on my, mm, yeah, but you guess what? While they're all on your, mm, they taking something from you every time they get on your, mm, <laughs> every time they get on that, mm, you think you doing something, they got you. Listen to what this spirit does. He said, they thought he had many wives. He thought it. But actually, they had him. They had 